First of all, hey, thanks for tuning in. As always, I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully, we're going to have ourselves a little fun, have ourselves a, a very profitable day is what I'm wanting to do. We need to sell these bales right here, which are soybean bales, soybean straw. So we need to get those sold. We've got a field full of clover that we need to turn into silage. And I've been bouncing back and forth trying to decide, should we do a silage pit or should we do uh, bales? If we do bales, we can sell them right now make our cash if uh, we do a pit obviously we will we will have to wait for it to ferment so wait why don't i just get these guys there we are why don't we just get these guys rocking and rolling now maybe what we should do let's take a look well before we get going here what is uh clover silage what is that selling for and that maybe that'll help push us one way or the other and clover wait did i see it yes clover silage there we go 498 dollars per thousand liters now that looks that looks pretty darn good to me i don't know what just silage is selling for uh da, da, da. uh we don't have any tm oh wait WCS fermented 461 and drop it. So I say we do it. Let's go ahead and we will bail that up. Now that's going to take a significant amount of time to get that bailed, but I think we can handle it. I won't make y'all watch all of it, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this guy lined up. Get the ball rolling here. Should be good, right? There. And how are they doing? Well, they're making a mess, but seem to be doing well. Sweet. So we need to. I said, let's go sell. Let's go sell. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go sell some soybean straw. That's what I was trying to spit out. And what are we? going i guess the new ho uh oh really great i guess what i can't tab again this is ridiculous there we can tell oh so we're gonna be playing this game okay now the whole time i'm riding around here doing everything i need to do i can tab do everything just fine no problems whatsoever now, I wonder if it's because of... I wonder if OBS is doing a drain or something while I record. I don't know. I use the same computer to uh, play and record, so I don't have a different one. As much as my uh, computer cost me, I didn't figure as though I needed another one. So, okay, where are we going? Where, oh, where are we going? Now we got to go back here. And clover silage. Here we be. And we will tag it. Is that the one that's close? It is. Hot dainty. That is like right now. That is the way we like it. So I'm hoping that today is going to be profitable. What I would really like to do is I would love to get over and buy the field back where we were harvesting cutting wood doing a little bit of forestry if we could get that field maybe purchased and i dare i say that we could get over there and start grinding some stumps i don't know that would be awesome i don't think we're going to do really like tree work that may come as we get closer to popping a bga in there once we figure out where the bga is going to go and we will decide whether we need to chop ourselves a few trees to get them out of the way or not it's going to be a process. It's not something that I am extremely good at as far as planning all that out. But we'll do our best. We'll muddle through one way or another. So what are we going to get here? Never enough. Uh, wow, 44 grand. Okay, that's pretty good. Pops us up over the 200,000 mark. So we got, I think we had like four bales left. Something like that. 
So let me get up here. We'll grab those and get them back here and get those sold as well. And just like that, here we are back already. Now, I have a plan. I have thought. I don't know if it's really a plan yet. I haven't thought it through that much. And another, wow, another 12? I mean, we did outstanding with those bales. I don't know that the price went up. I know I held them out before because I was waiting for the price to go up. I have no idea if it actually went up or did not. But either way, I think we did pretty good. So now here's what my thinking was. My thought is what if we got rid of this guy right here, this tractor, the New Holland. I, I actually, I really, really like the New Holland. It's been one of the best tractors that I've had. The only problem is it's a, it's a little small. It's very versatile, but it's a little small. And they had the new Fast Track that came out, oh, I don't know, maybe a little less than a week ago. I think it was the 4220. And I am contemplating what if we sold the New Holland and then we took the 4220 and we just leased it for right now. Now, I know it's going to cost us money because we already own the New Holland. Oh, right, that's great. That's just brilliant. Right where I wanted it. Right in the middle of everything. Oh, you loser. So, <laughs> but that's what I'm thinking. It'll put a little bit of money in our pocket right now. Kind of give us a bigger, beefier tractor. I think it's a bigger. It's in the medium. This one's in the medium as well. Yeah, see, now I'm talking myself out of it because I'm not sure if it's going to be any beefier than what this guy is. We could try to take this one and just put bigger tires on it. I don't know. I j actually, I really just wanted to play around with the new fast track. That's what I, when I boils down to it, that's what I was thinking. I didn't know if it would be any better with the baler. So, wait, no, let's go this one and we go garage. So this is the T6, right? So was that in medium tractors? Yeah, the T6. So it was, well, oh yeah, it would definitely be bigger because it is, I think that's it right there. Is that the new one? That was the 4220. Oh, this is the one, right? Yeah, that's the one I was thinking about. Oh my, I haven't looked at it at all. I just saw, I think I watched Goham's mod reviews on it. And I'm like, ooh, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm easy. See, that just looks, that just looks good. Doesn't it, does it not look good? That's the tires. I don't know. Oh, rim color, main color. I don't think I could do Onyx. See... And then rim color, I do think I want onyx. I still look, those rims look a little shiny for my liking. But man, that thing looked good. And it's already got 234 or 235 horsepower. Now, man, look at those tires, though. Is that 3D tires? I don't know. The tracks on that? Man, it looks like it. Those look, those look awesome. Oh, a little bit chunky or monkeys right there. Ugh, wow. That, those are too much. Wheel setup. Whoa. Wow. I think this is what we're going to do, folks. I'm, I'm drooling over here. <laughs> Standard and wide and then extra wide. Maybe we just go wides. Wides versus X. Oh, those balloon tires, they look good. I just don't know. My concern is, do they mess with your turning radius? I think we we may try them anyway. What are just the wides? They cost two grand as well. Factory new. We'll go factory new. We can tune base power a little bit. 470 for five grand. Well, it's not really going to cost us five grand. Uh, fast track. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fender back. 
I kind of like the fenders. I mean, it's a... I, actually, I like it both ways. Don't Now, keep your mind out of the gutter, folks. Uh, so we got trailer hitches with a gooseneck. I don't think we need a... a oh, you can get a gooseneck as well? What? Wow. My, get, that's pretty cool. That is awesome. Because you can use that gooseneck trailer. That is uh, that is pretty sweet. Now, I mean, if we really wanted to go crazy, we could jack it up to 796. I mean, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it. We'll go standard engine setup. Don't be greedy. Uh, da, 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 Front fenders. I, you know, I'm okay with the fenders. So wait, if they take the fenders off, they charge you 250 bucks. Something seems askew with their pricing. And we will go with a front end attachment. So we can do that. And let's 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 lease it. I do. I want to I want to lease it. It may not be financially intelligent to do. But either way, it is going to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, New Holland. It's time for you to go to the store. Let's get this thing to the store. We're going to go ahead. We're going to fix it up. We're going to sell it. And we're going to pick up our new fast track. So is the fast track bigger? It kind of looks like it could be. Man, that thing just looks good sitting there. Let's compare. I think maybe the fast track is... Damn, that thing looks good. That looks really good. I think that was a good choice. Alright, here we go. Am I in the trigger? No. Am I in the trigger? Tell me yes. No. <laughs> Okay, I guys should be in the trigger. There we are. Okay. And how much? 23 grand? Really? That's it? Well, I'm not selling it. For 23,000, I'm not selling it. It's going to stay. I thought we would get a little bit of money out of it, but what did it cost brand new? Medium tractors. I mean, 102000 and they're selling. Well, it is what it is. We're just not going to cry over spilled milk. How's she look on the inside? That's interesting. I like the little dash up there. It almost looks like a little tablet. My kids would yank on that and be playing games on it. <laughs> wow. They got some buttons over here now. Looks very nice. Looks comfy. Looks good. It is a fast track. It should go, what, 40 mile an hour? And we are off and running. So, okay, now I... Whoa, simmer down. I did hear... Uh, uh, hear. I, I saw that our... Of course, our helper is full of potatoes. So let's get our butt over there. Get them emptied out. And what time does our truck say? Is it still moving? Oh, it's rolling backwards now. Did it quit spinning? I guess it did. Now it's just uh, going backwards. Okay. Tis not for me to question farm sin. Wow, oh, tires are spinning. My goodness. Come on, baby, you can do it. So it looks like we're going to have, what, maybe two or three more fills from this guy. And I think we will be able to take uh, about, well, this should probably, oh, not very good driving. Uh, I think this, after this one, we'll go ahead and empty it. Get up there, go, go, go. Okay, perfect. Because we're, we should have about 48,000. This trailer only holds 50. So we'll go ahead. We'll dump this into the pigs. Then we have... 
that trailer over there. I could go ahead and dump both. Let's do that. Go. Ooh. You can't, if you try to turn your wheels too sharp and take off, it's a no-go. It just kind of sits there and spins, but that's all right. It is what it is. Ooh, break, 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 break. Break, break, break. There we go. All right. Let's go see if we can get this behemoth of a train moving first. Come on. It's trying. It's trying real hard. I did not up the horsepower, but I don't think it's going to matter if you up the horsepower when the tires are spinning. So we are up to 10, oh, 9 mile an hour. Come on. Let's go. Well, we made it. Now let's see if we can get this in there. around kind of see what I'm doing here no man it went and it was like I am going all the way it was no slowing down so let's see here okay good the right hey I'm stuck well, I, oh, well, what's going on? What? Potatoes not accepted here. Was I not back far enough? What in the world is God on? Just, just go back. There you go. Okay. Now are we getting it? It's fighting me, but I think we're finally going to win. We can just peek through the windows and see what's going on. Let me see. Let me see. So what are, what is it looking like for our little, our little pigs? Oh, we will definitely be selling pigs this episode as well. I don't know if we will be selling them, what, in 45 minutes? We need nine. So about, yeah, I don't think we will get them sold in this day in game did i say that right yes in this game day something like that so anyway where are we at oh yeah we are what is going on here my truck is all cattywampus the trailer's all up there come on uh <laughs> That's not glitchy at all. And why do I not use hook lifts very often? Hmm. I don't know. I seem to have all kinds of glitches every time I use a hook lift. And I don't know if it's the hook lift. I don't know if do I use the same truck each time and then I just have issues. I do not know. But I always seem to have a problem when I use the hook lifts. There's just glitches. And I and. I, Again, I don't know if it's the truck, if it's the hook lift, if it's the trailers. I'm not smart enough to figure all that out. But they're so versatile. They, When they work, they're extremely good. Let's go now. Maybe we can watch it. Come on. Let me. Bye. Man, they make this hard. Okay, I guess that's as... There it is. <laughs> Ah, we made it. No stress, no fuss, no muss. And where are they at? They've got to be close. Come on. I don't know. Maybe all maybe the, all the potatoes are going to fit in here. Looks like we're going to end up with one soybean straw bale out of this, which is uh, okie dokie. So let's drop it down. Let's turn this thing on. And we are off and running. Now it should be, it should do very well, I'm hoping. We've got, I think we did just repair it. The baler, that is. Our tractor's brand new. It should be pumping out plenty of horsepower, I think. 
Now, I know there's a lot of people who like their certain brands of tractors, but you can't tell me this thing is just not a good looking piece of machinery right here. I would like to have this as my everyday driver. I'd be happy with that. You can have my truck. That's fine. I'll take one of these. <laughs> so, well, it looks like we have a considerable amount of work ahead of us. Now, I am going to do a speedy, but I think we'll, we will probably edit a few pieces out of this. Or it would be a ridiculously long speedy. And there's really only so much of baling that we can do. So we are looking at what, 8,000 liter bales? We should end up, we should end up making some money on these. That's what I'm thinking. Money, money, money. So let's, uh, let's kick back. Let's uh, enjoy the ride. Well, we have almost finished, and all I have to say is we are speed. This is as fast as we've gotten <laughs> almost the entire field. It has been four and five mile an hour the whole way. I mean, even with that, I still think the fast baler is faster than the stopping and starting of the other balers. It's just that, oh my goodness, going four mile, five mile an hour and doing it's, it's a tad bit it's a tad bit tough to do to just creeping along not much excitement when you're bailing at four and five mile an hour but I think the excitement will come when we start cashing these guys in so let's go ahead and get this guy out of here shut it off raise it up whoa simmer down there fast jack you're okay. We'll go drop this off and then we need our bale trailer. Uh, now I wish we had a bigger bale trailer, but beggars can't be choosy. Where are we going to put this? I think right here should work. Drop that there. Maybe let's tab over and I knew they'd be sitting there full. So is this the last time we will have to fill up? Will they be able to, not fill up, but empty? Will they be able to finish the field? Well, they missed some. Whoa, simmer down, track. We're a little glitchy today. I'm not sure what's going on, but that's all right. I think I'm running over my tractor. Well. Well, it thinks I'm running over my tractor. There we go. Is that better? All right. No, no, it's not. What? <laughs> Come on. Let's not. Let's not go there. We got it. We're all right. Just keep on keeping on now. I thought it was gonna do that thing where you've got to be in just the right spot. 
I don't know if we're going to be keeping the uh, hook lift truck if it keeps up this. Come on. Come on. Is it empty? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, helper F. Let's get it. I think it's going to have to be emptied one more time before it's going to finish. Go, truck. Go, go, go. All right, good enough. And we are going to go. No. Oh. There we. No, stop it. And we are there. So, okay, beautiful. Let's grab our bail trailer. I am I am chomping at the bit. I want to see how much money we're going to get. I was planned on after we bailed him. I was going to go ahead and start harvesting our wheat field over Our barley, I think, is what we ended up with over there. But now I'm chomping at the bit. I want to see how much money we're going to end up with. Oh, shoot. I forgot to turn the time back up. When I'm riding around, before I start the episode, I always I shut the time off, go around and kind of figure out what in the world we need to do. What are they blocked by? Hold up. Hold the phone. Oh, a tree. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. All right, we'll let them stop. There we go. Okay. So I go around and I back try to get back on track here. And I go around, so I always shut the time off just so nothing happens when, you know, we're, we're not recording. I don't want anything to go on when nobody can see it for sure. And then sometimes I forget to turn it back on. So let's... We'll bump it up to five for a while. That'll kind of make up for it. Now, I have no idea how many bales we have here. I would assume we've got at least two trailerfuls, which would be the equivalent of 28 bales, which would be very, very nice. Maybe I should do it this way. Yeah, I think this is a better track right here. So I do think once we get these bales picked up, get those sold, then I want to harvest our barley field. Go ahead and get that. Calm down. And then hopefully we will uh, be able to, after we get that done, go ahead and buy our field, and which is right to the, uh, almost right in front of us there. And seeing if we can start getting a spot made for the BGA. Oh, yeah. We are going to be setting just fine. For money, money, money. So, Clover Silage. That is there. That's the one right next to us, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, all right. So, we don't have far to go. So, this should be a fairly quick process. That is, of course, barring any unforeseen uh, circumstances that might arise. There's always those. So let's uh, see. What are we going to get per trailer? 55000 bucks. That is... Now, what's funny is our straw sold for almost the same as the silage. That just goes to show you how much soybean and canola straw and cornstalk straw how much money you can make off of those products when it ranks up there with silage that's pretty darn good so let's get up here and let's finish getting this field cleaned out so where in the world does this come from <laughs> I am driving all of a sudden I get in my field and my tractor is doing something funky, and there's a log. I can't pick it up. Well, I might be able to pick it up if I had super strength. But where I haven't even been cutting trees anywhere over here. I have no idea where that thing came from. I just like, uh, all right. 
All right, do I have a, on the pickup bales? I do, I do. So I guess if we want to sell a little uh, wood, we've got a tree stump there that we could sell. Maybe get a hundred bucks out of it or something. Hey, it all goes to the coffers, right? So are we going to get three trailers out of this? Or just two and a partial? I'm thinking two and a partial. I don't think we're going to get three total out of it. I guess we will soon find out. Oh, yeah, we're all right. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to make some good money here. And then what do we got left? Two, four, six, seven left. So a half a load plus a uh, straw bale over there. I think that was soybean straw. And that's going to be almost the same amount of money. And it doesn't really matter to me whether it's silage or straw. If they're paying the bills, I'm good with it. There we go. Another 55, almost $56,000. So what we should get uh, 25, maybe 27,000. That's what I'm going to guess that the next load's going to be 27,000. So place your bets, folks. Well, there was an extra bale hiding out there that I did not see. So we have nine bales instead of eight. We have eight silage bales, one straw bale. So I'm thinking closer to twenty-nine to 30000 So all right, here we go, here we go, and sell. Boom. 35 holy Toledo I did not think we were gonna be there so now we are sitting at three hundred and fifty thousand bucks that is what I like finally we've got some cash the animals are mostly taken care of the only thing that we're still really lacking in is uh, soybeans canola and is it maize it might be maize I think it is or corn. Is it maize or corn? I know they're kind of the same, but I think one is done with a forage harvester, if I am not mistaken, and one is done just with the harvester. So, I think that's the way that works with maize. Let's see. Let's just take a quick look at the critters real quick. The moo-moos are sitting pretty, and the piggies are needing what? Well, we've got a wheat field, so we're sitting fine for that, I think. They don't need it right this second. And then soybeans. Oh, it's sunflowers. Okay, it's not maize. I was uh, mistaken, as always. So there we are. With that, I think, I think what we should do is I think we should go ahead. Let's get up here and park this. And then I want to buy our uh, forestry field back simply so that we can we can turn it into our BGA stuff. I think our other fields are going to be okay. Oh, I have not heard from our potato field over there. I see him just sitting in the road, so obviously I missed the notification. That was a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so let's jump over here. Oh, actually, I don't think I need that. I needed this. And what are we at? 49%? I don't know where... Oh, okay. You know, I think... That we... Is that going to get it? Okay, we're getting it. I think we will go ahead and finish this guy up. Oh, I am so happy that this field is finally done. And at least on this map, I do not see potatoes happening anytime in our future. I think we are going to be set for potatoes. Raise that up. Go, Dutes Far, go. Now, I'm hoping that we will not have to empty this before. I think we're going to be able to finish the field with what we've got here. 
I do like this potato harvester. I mean, I wish the working width was a little bit better. But other than that, I, I really, I like it. I love the dump heights and stuff, the way it unloads. Turn around, come on, baby. And just like that, we are done. No more potatoes. Let's get this thing emptied out. Well, maybe I better pull that up. I thought I was hitting the right button, but I was not. And I'm not close enough either. Okay, all right. Uh, I was trying to guess. And there we go. Just like that. And this, oh, excuse me, pardon me. So where are we at? 68, 70%? 36,000. This is going to be so close, I think, to filling us up. Come on, baby. Man, it must be just the episode. Everything is six by six miles. Come on, man. You can do it. I mean, it shouldn't be spinning. It should have enough weight on it. The traction should not be an issue. Go, you beast. Come on. There, look at us. We're up to 14. Oh, uh, we're flying now. We'll be there in no time at all. Backing it on up there. Okay, simmer down. Simmer down. Looks good though, whether it works good or not. I oh, I can't help that, but it looks good. We have pretty equipment. <laughs> Doesn't want to go. There we go. And really isn't that all that matters, as long as it's pretty. So now where am I going to put this big old behemoth? What if you just pull right in here? I think that will be good. Turn! Oh. No, don't do that. And it has a good horn. So, all right. Phew. You don't notice how loud something is until you shut it off. So that's good. Uh, that's good. Now, the potato harvester, didn't we just release that? And Oh, we did. Sweet. Okay, so we will return that, and that is now gone. Nothing else we can return, is there? I think our fuel tank there has fuel in it, so we will leave that be. And, oh, I know what we need to do. Let's do it right now. Let's come over here, and we are going to this guy, and we're going to buy that back. And we need we need a stump grinder of some kind. I mean, the best one, obviously, is... Uh, now, of course, I sit here and I say that, and I can't remember the name. T-Rex, that's what it is. Oh, look at that. That's, uh, that's the part of the uh, F-2420 scale. Get her, that's part of the pack. Wow. Spiffy, I ain't getting it. Those things drive me nuts. But do we really want that? I don't know if I want that one or not. Is there any others that will work for us? Forest? Forest? <laughs> that wasn't even supposed to be a pun. That was just a slip. <laughs> oh, we got anything good? I don't know. We got that. That's not bad. The bio belt, that'd be much cheaper. And I, ooh, or that 67,000. 
I think we're going to go back here with this. And, I mean, I don't really know that it matters, but we'll, we'll bump it up. Why not? Uh, design? Factory new? Yes. And we're just going to lease it. I don't think we need to own it. Yes. Okay. So what I think I'll do is I will grab... I'm in the deets far, so we'll just go ahead and take it. Go down there and go to this... Oh, you know, I don't have to. Ha ha ha! We... Right here it is. We have this guy already. Now, I don't know if I'll operate it with this or not. But maybe... Or I may just put it on the fast track because it's new. Now, I think the biggest trick is going to be finding the stumps. So let's pull this up. This might also remove the brush. Force remulcher, turn that on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, okay, so we can raise it up a little bit. Oh, that's nice. It does uh, take all the bushes and stuff out. I get it. All right, okay. So we're almost going to have to just mow every... Oh, okay, so this is going to definitely take a minute. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. And I love that it gets rid of all the weeds. So we will be able to see whatever, if we've missed anywhere or not. Because it is going to be very hard to see. But with that, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to run a speedy. And we're, we are basically going to mow this up. And then as we do, we will be able to find any of the, uh, any of the stumps. At least that's, uh, that's the plan. Well, I think we are coming down to the end here. I'm pretty sure I've got most. We've got this little clump right here in the middle that we need to kind of go over. Make sure we got all of that. And this, uh, this mulcher, chipper, whatever you want to call it, it has worked really quite well. Once you kind of get the knack for it. Sometimes you can just pull right up to it in the front and it works, but if they're tall, you have to back up into them. But I've just been going through and mowing all the big stuff down. There we go. Got it. Got it. Good. Now what? Is there any more in here? I would assume. Oh, there's one. All right. Let's go get it. Let's go. Let's go. 
As you can see, I've been all over this place. This was not easy. I thought the stump grind it would be uh, the piece of cake, but my goodness, just find them like a needle in a haystack through here. Was that the last one? I'm thinking it might have been. Oh, one more right here. I see it. I see it, a little sneaky booger. And there we go. I think that is all she wrote. So now we have purchased. We have cleared it all up. So now I have no idea how I want to lay this out. I know we're going to put a little uh, concrete down, a little texture and concrete. Give it a nice, uh, nice home. So I don't think, I really don't know that we need to cut down any more trees for it. If it kind of flowed all the way out, it could come out this way, could come out that way, could actually, we could have a road that comes up this way as well. Come on. Maybe even out right here. This is paved. This could be the entrance for it. Entrance on one side, exit on the other. At least that's what we say. Or we just have it go right towards our farm, which would make it easier even. Well, I don't think we're going to put any concrete down today. That'll give us a little time to ponder what we want to do with it. I was going to say, I think we should keep this stump grinder until we... I should have dropped it over there. But until we've actually put concrete down... Let's just drop it here. Oh, shoot. What is milk going for right now? It was it was looking pretty good. Oh, please still be there. It is 30, 35 or thirty three hundred dollars and it is it is there. So I think we need to sell some bio milk right now. And where is that at? That is the energy farm. So tag it, and I'm a, yeah, all right. So we need, we need something to transport milk. And what do we got? I don't even know how much milk we got. Simmer down, man. I am, I'm a little too wild. I'm like, oh my God, we got to do it right now. Well, let's breathe. How much do we have? So that helps us with the equipment. We've got 23, almost 24,000 liters. Okay, so now we need milk would that be in what would that be in trailers i don't think so uh da, da, da. oh i know where we can go let's go here and it is asm i do believe bio milk how much that's 15 68 000 my goodness holds forty thousand liters though or i could do two trips with this for 25 i mean i suppose we could do well how much is leasing Three thousand. you know do we we have a no we don't have a semi truck do we so i guess that answers that let's go let's go with this and factory new main color yeah that's all good let's lease it okay so i am going to shut that off no, no, there we are. So I'm going to take this guy. We're going to run down to the store. Let's grab our milk trailer. And then see about making a little bit of money on our... Uh, what is it? Organic milk. That's what it is. I have been ready to sell bio milk for so long. It's ridiculous. Now, is that... It is. That trailer tractor is right in my way I think this is where you load it up I don't think we have to open anything right nope all right let's pull up and see what happens start filling there it is no wait what are you doing Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, what the? It unhooks it. Why does it do that? I don't know. It is, I, this, I don't know what's going on, but I, everything is so glitchy. 
right now for me on this map. I really don't know. Can we make that turn? Wow, that thing turns right now. Sweet. But everything is just glitching on me. I'm not sure what's going on. It could be just something I have installed. I have so much, so many mods installed. That it's easy that something is uh, messing with something else for sure. I need to go through and uninstall so much stuff that I just don't use. But I've, I put it in there just in case, you know, you see it and you go, ooh, that looks like I could use that sometime. And then you never do. All right, well, let's get her butt to the cell point and see what 15,000 liters of bio milk is going to do for us. And here we go. So let's see. I, I have no idea how much we're going to get out of this. Let's hope it's something. Bio milk is going in. And money's going up. Not stupid fast, but it is definitely going. Going down, going up. Come on, come on, come on. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. I have no idea. Did, were, we were just under 300,000. Whoa. That, wow, that's pretty good then. If, if we were under 300,000, we're at like 40... 50 grand for 15,000 liters. That is nothing to sneeze at right there. That kind of made it all worth it. Now we've got, uh, what? We had 15, we had 23, almost 24,000 liters. So we've got almost 10,000 liters left. Man, look at the, this map. I have to say, every time I drive somewhere else in it, it just looks so awesome. I do, I really, really love the look of this map. Some maps are, are fun to play and everything, and some of them just are, they go just that extra, extra mile. I don't, where am I going? And they just look so good. And this happens to be one of them. It's a shame we end up playing on, like, basically one side of the map the whole time. All right, enough of that. Let's get her back over there. Get some more milk. Well, it's not quite 10,000 liters. It's not quite 9,000 liters either, but <laughs> it's close enough for who it's for. So we should get, what, 20,000 out of this? Is that right? Are we really get 20 grand out of this? <laughs> that is crazy. Crazy, crazy money. It actually makes the uh, bio milk worth it. I can't remember if I talked about how I can't get even the uh, bio milk mods to sell. And I, I, I think it's because of all the different crops we've got here already. With the maize plus and everything else. I just think there's uh, too many crops on the map for it to show up. But I can get some things to work so i'm not i just don't know why they don't but that's the only uh, only thing i can come up with is because i think there's too much stuff on here but i'm not very smart when it comes to all of that so i really don't know i'm just taking a shot in the dark but either way as long as you wait for the right price i think you come out real good is it worth the extra cost for organic milk I, and the weight, I don't know. I really don't know. Because regular milk sells for a pretty good price at different times. But like I had said before, I know I've saw uh, organic milk or bio milk at the $4,000 to $5,000 mark. And if you could sell it for that, that would be just stupid money. Which is good. I like stupid money. I have as much stupid money as I can get. Well, on my way back to the farm, I am thinking that uh, we have pretty much used all the time that we have left. I was thinking we had a little bit more, but as I look at the videos that I've already put together here, 
as far as my clips. I think we have used all the allotted time. I think we did pretty darn good. I mean, uh, we made some good money for sure. We finally got to sell some bio milk, finished our potatoes, getting our BGA area ready to go. So in the next episode, we should be able to get our wheat field harvested. And uh, hopefully we'll sell some pigs. Should be ready by morning. It's so nice to drive by this guy and see it all emptied out, though. Oh, you see that dark line? Those are potatoes right in that ground right there. But it's uh, too little too late. And we will also get this guy right here combined into uh, one field. So take three fields and combine it into one. Hey, I want to thank you all tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a little bit of fun and laughed at me a little bit. <laughs> Be good, everyone. And until next time, see ya.